Women have to dream and start dreaming. Like the status quo isn't going to change itself. You know, the people in power aren't going to give up power themselves. So you might as well just like take as much of it as you possibly can. We know how good our game is. We know that it's just a matter of time before the rest of the world catches on. The WICC at Best 11 is a second year platform that we've created to honor those individuals that are doing the most to advance women's soccer. You know, we know what women's football can do for society and how powerful it is to see strong, visible, athletic, confident women. We're very excited about the way the Best 11 is growing. I think the quantity and the caliber of people coming to the, to the Best 11 and the advisory board just demonstrates the attention and the focus and the excitement about women's sports and women's soccer and I love seeing how this group has grown. This year's board is made up of three board veterans from 2020, Heather O'Reilly, Grant Wall and Vero Bocchette, so they know the program inside and out. And then we also invited three winners from the 2020 Best 11 list to join the board. So they know the program from being winners last year. That's Moya Dodd, Meg Linehan, and B.B. Steinhouse Webb. And then we have one newbie to the list, and that's Lori Lindsay, who was one of our broadcasters for the women's tournament this year. They're looking for the, the people in 2021 that did the most to, to advance the game. What I like about it is the fact that within women's sport, we, we, we never talk sport only. We always, uh, we always have a look at the wider picture. I think might be the easiest pick. We yeah. get all day. That, that part will go in the video, right, Susie? Or, yeah, or... I, I hope you're going to be distracted. Oh, I forgot about the video thing. <laughs> <laughs> Not nearly enough rancor, guys. You, you're too easy to work with. But look, the, the list just keeps getting better and better in terms of the advisory board and the class. It's incredible. And you look at the accomplishments of what so many of the people on the list did, even since last year, they're in it with deeds, not words. And it's awesome to be able to honor the achievements of what they're doing to move this beautiful game forward for women. And she, she just loves the game so much. And she's a great advocate for it and a living advocate for it. Well, there's our 11 guys. Really impressive. Really impressive list. Many, many to choose from. Nadine Kessler. She has done an amazing job, an amazing job of promoting women's football in Europe as a bigger picture. Formiga. Definitely, she is a legend of the game. The only one playing as many as uh, World Cups possible. It's Susie Rack, terrific journalist. Her story broke the news about sexual abuse inside the Afghan Federation. Tom Corbett, he's behind the sponsorship of Barclays and the FAWSL. Alexia won the, the best player in Europe. For her performance, she should be one of the best. Emma Hayes, at a time when it's more important than ever for women who are coaches to be given opportunities and excelling, she's kind of the gold standard. With Quinn, they're just so important, not just to OL Reigns midfield, but also Canada's midfield, on the field, off the field, all of these amazing things that Quinn has been doing for, for visibility for trans athletes. Meski, she works for the African Confederation running women's football. She's vocal and forward-looking in what she's done in Africa. Monica Stab, she has done so much to ensure that the exposure of women's football in countries like Saudi Arabia has been massively growing. Christine Sinclair, she's just a legend in the game. She's had such an amazing career and she's been so important to both club and country. Mana, Sinead, Kaya, their bravery, their courage, it is so powerful because it has and will continue to change the course of women's sport forever. <laughs>